In a world where every click, every move, and every interaction generates data, the question is no longer if we have data, but what do we do with it? Hello, I'm Rajiv Pandey, CTO at Tata Motors, Digital.ai Labs. And welcome to this masterclass on the journey of data, a journey that begins deep in the digital engine room and ends at the fingertips of the users. It's a story of transformation, of how raw signals evolves into intelligent, immersive experience that shapes the way we live, move, and connect. Let's start at the source. Picture a connected vehicle. It's not just a machine anymore. It's a living, breathing data hub on wheels. Every second, sensors are capturing speed of the vehicle, location, engine health, camera are scanning the environments, and apps are streaming music, navigations, and more. Now multiply that by millions across vehicles, smartphones, smart homes, and industrial machines. What you get at a tidal wave of data flowing in every second from every direction. But it's not just machine, it's also people interacting with machine through gesture, voice, even eye moments. And then there is a machine to machine communication where system exchanges information without human inputs. This is the raw material of digital age. It's a vast, complex, and even growing exponentially. But here is the thing. Raw data by itself is just a noise. It's like having ingredients without the recipe. To create something valuable, we need to process it, refine it, and give it a purpose. That's where the transformation begins. Because when we understand the sources, we begin to unlock the potential. We begin to see how data can drive decision making, shape user experience, and enable innovation. So we have seen how data begins as a signal from our day-to-day -day interactions. But how do we turn this raw stream into something insightful? Something that powers the decisions and delightful user experience. That is where engineering steps in. Imagine you have got thousands of puzzle pieces but no picture on the box. That's what raw data feels like. To make sense of it, we need structure, we need flow. The invisible engine that transform raw signals into actionable insights. Raw data is messy. It's unstructured, inconsistent, and often incomplete. To make it useful, we need a system, a pipeline. The data pipeline is where magic happens. First data is ingested, pulled in from various sources, either in real time or in batches. Then comes the processing, the entire enrichment. This is where AI and analytics steps in, cleaning the data, adding context, and making it meaningful. Think of it like refining crude oil into fuel. Once processed, the data is stored securely and efficiently, whether in the cloud, or on the edge, or in hybrid environment. And finally, it is delivered to the system and screens that needs it, powering dashboards, applications, and user interface. This journey from ingestion to delivery is what transforms data into insights. It's what enables predictive maintenance in vehicle, personalization, recommendations on apps and screens, and real-time alerts in smartphones. But it's not just about technology. It's about designing systems that are reliable, scalable, and built around people. The data pipeline isn't just a technical backbone. It's a strategic enabler. It ensures that the right data reaches the right place at the right time in the right format. And here is where it gets exciting. We look ahead. Data won't just live in centralized systems anymore. It moves across the disconnected environments too, from smart cities to remote vehicles. In these scenarios, the concept of eventual consistency becomes vital. Even when systems go offline, they must stay in sync and deliver seamless user experience. That's where edge computing and AI comes into play, enabling real-time decision, hyper-personalization, and operational resilience. The future isn't just connected, it is intelligently connected. And the data pipeline, 
It is the engine that makes it all possible. So to summarize, data pipeline is the bridge between the data and decision. So far, we have seen how data is captured, processed, and transformed. Now let's talk about where it all comes together, the user experience, how data powers intelligent, human-centric digital interface that does not only just function, they connect. UI UX today go far beyond buttons and screens. They are about creating experiences that are intuitive, adoptive, and deeply personal. Think about your car's dashboard, your phone's home screen, or voice assistant. These aren't just tools. They are environments shaped by the data. Interfaces now learn from user behavior in real time. They are just based on context. They respond through voice, visual, and touch, making interactions seamless and natural. AI plays a big role here. It helps us refine interfaces dynamically based on how user engages. In the automotive world, we are seeing dashboards that feel more like immersive gaming console. Responsive, visual, and highly personalized. Augmented reality is taking it even further, blending a digital overlay with the physical world to enhance how we interact with vehicles, device, and our surroundings. But with innovation comes responsibility. With data driving these experiences, we must ensure privacy, transparency, and inclusivity. Bias in AI, information overload, and ethical design aren't just buzzword. They are design imperatives. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about making things smart. It's about making them meaningful. Security, empathy, ethics, must be embedded into every layer of user experience. Because ultimately, this journey from data engineering to UI UX isn't about technical, it's about human. It's about transforming complexity into clarity. It's about designing experiences that are not only intelligent, but intuitive, inclusive, and inspiring. And that brings us to the end of this masterclass. I hope this session helped you see how data, when thoughtfully designed, becomes more than just information. It becomes emotion. Thank you for joining me on this journey. The future of digital experience isn't just connected. It is intelligently connected. And it's already here.